What's up, Method Gaming? Ian ZT here, and I got a gameplay for you of me on Call of Duty 4 Crash Domination. You guys said you wanted something different, so this is all I can do because I'm terrible at every other game. Not really, but I would imagine that, uh, you know, <laughs> you guys don't want to see like a Halo Reach gameplay of me going like 12 and 11. <laughs> Because I, I really can't play that many other games. I mean, if I manage, if I do play a game for a long time, eventually I will get good at it. I believe in my abilities that much, but I really don't like playing Halo and all that. So, I, I'm sorry you guys don't get very much deviation, but Method is, uh, we're, we're planning on doing different things now, and we have a bunch of different people from Halo and other things. We might get a Gears, maybe, I don't know, a Gears player, maybe. <coughs> That has nothing to do with me, because I'm primarily Call of Duty. You will see some other gameplay from me, but right now, I'm giving you another Call of Duty. Anyways, this game, this gameplay, I really liked it just because it was a really good reminder of where my roots were um, when I first started Call of Duty. At first, I had, <laughs> there was no chance I would ever go <laughs> positive in a game. And believe it or not, yeah, that's actually, is that guy's, that guy's clan tag is Mono Fair 99. <laughs> that guy really has his hopes up. Anyways, yeah, um, this gameplay really reminded me of where my roots were just because uh, back in 2008-2009, uh, back in 2008, 2009, I literally had no skill in this game whatsoever. I couldn't figure out what to do anything or how to do anything. And lo and behold, I figured out how to do it. I didn't need some stupid <laughs> developers holding my hand through the way with death streaks and everything. I came up with different strategies, and anyone else can too. That's what I don't get about game developers these days. They think they need to hold everyone's hands and, you know, try and figure out and help them figure out how to do everything. No. All you need to figure out something is YouTube and a lot of time. <laughs> that's literally, that's, that's a checklist for anyone who ever wants to become good or quote unquote good at Call of Duty. Uh, I myself don't think there's very much skill involved in Call of Duty. How are these shots missing? I don't think there's too much um, skill involved in Call of Duty. It's, it's I mean... Oh, he's in last stand. <laughs> I was like, why? how did I not get that kill? I don't think there's too much skill involved in Call of Duty. I mean, yeah, it it, it takes a little bit of practice just to, you know, uh, start learning spawns and everything, but it's a really different game. <laughs> but this is a really good reminder. Again, this is a really good reminder of my roots and everything just because back in the day, I would always go negative, and I, I hated it. So I came up with a plan that no matter what, Every life, I would try and at least take out one person so I could go even. And eventually, that one person turned into two people so I could go positive. And then three. And then now, uh, it's evolved into something where I go. I have, I have gameplays where I go 66 and 1 and everything. And it's, it, it feels nice. I get so angry at this game. But in, everyone, I, I hope everyone here knows that, you know, like, when you... Everyone probably play, Everyone here probably plays Call of Duty just for that one game where you do good. And it's like... It's just it's just a really good feeling. <clears throat> I I would imagine everyone here has had that one game where it's like yeah I get, I went you know twenty five and one, and, uh, even though it's not like you know YouTube amazing a shinima respawn post, <laughs> it's it's still it's a good feeling when you know you do really good for your own standards. So all you method gaming it's it's what. We need a name for the people who are involved with Method Gaming, like all the viewers and all the people who, you know, post to the channel. They're, Method Gaming, the only problem I have with the name is that it's too long for any sort of... How did I die there? That guy in front of me did not die. Okay. <laughs> we need a name for the people involved with Method Gaming, just because I, oh, I... I need something to say. I don't want to say, like, you guys all the time, and apparently you people is offensive, so... <laughs> I need a name. But anyways... What were what were your roots with Call of Duty? Where did you start and you know like what got you guys started? What got me started was that all my friends were playing it and I got a, I got the Call of Duty 4 for free, so, you know, eh, why not? Uh a lot of my friends started playing it and eventually my friend Michael started, you know, trying to teach me how to play and that uh, eventually turned into me becoming a camper and me being terrible at the game still. <laughs> Until I finally took initiative and actually, you know, got uh, went on YouTube and figured out how to drop shot and everything. But that's, if you guys want to see the whole story of, like, how I started uh, Call of Duty, it's on my channel. It's in Dazzle uh, quality, but it, I think the fact that I go 194 and 37 in that game, I think that kind of makes up for the Dazzle quality. So if you guys want to see that, it's on my channel. But anyways, <laughs> sponsor. Who does that? Toby Turner, that's what, it, wow. Last stand. <laughs> I, I think Toby Turner's the one who does that. 
anyways so what were your, your guys roots mine were mine was call of duty i went to world at war and then uh i went to uh I, I went on from there i didn't play world of war that much i went back to call of duty 4 so i have about i think out of all the games i think i already said this before all time moment <laughs> out of all the games call of duty probably has the most uh gameplay uh, uh my gameplay on it or what, what am i trying to say most time played on it that's what i'm trying to say um, over both of my accounts, uh, my, you know, my hidden account, ooh, it's actually my brother's account, but still, <laughs> over both of the accounts I've played on, both, the, you know, like, all the time played, because I have, uh, COD 4 on PC and Xbox, I have it on two accounts, three if you count my Steam ID, I think I have at least, I have well over 20-something days played, Pro probably something like that, and that might not be a lot to some people, I remember, um, Hollywood from uh, Machine Man Respawn, the, the black guy who doesn't show his face at all. I think he said he had like 80 days played on Call of Duty 4, and that's just ridiculous. I could you imagine, like, just imagine how much of your life, how much of his life has been spent to Call of Duty? And I don't know how good he is at it, but it's like, imagine what you could do in 80 days. That's just, that's just mind blowing to me. What's what's the one saying where it's like um, around the world in like 80 days, 90 days, whatever that was. I can't even remember what the, where, where that's even from. Uh, oh my god. AK-74. I just love looking at this weapon in, like, COD 4. It's just... It's so much better in COD 4 than any other... Actually, it's only in COD 4. They put it in the campaign of Modern Warfare 3, but they never use it in uh, multiplayer, which I don't get why. Who doesn't love the AK-74U? I mean, in Black Ops, it was overpowered a little bit at first, but it's like... it's It's such a good gun. It's so cool. I love it. Oh my god, if I got that kill, whew, I would have freaked. This is a really rush-heavy gameplay. <laughs> I'm just starting to realize that. So as you can see in the gameplay, I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm spamming the Frag X3, which is something that potentially ruined part of Call of Duty 4. This game is, it's, it's gotten, it hasn't gotten better over the years, actually. I think it's actually starting to decline a little bit. <clears throat> and it's not from the gameplay, it's actually from the players who play it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing in the mic now. Um. <laughs> It's not from the uh, game, actually. It's from the people who play the game. People who spam rockets. Too many people who think they can snipe, but they actually can't snipe. I mean, it's like, at least when I snipe, I actually go for the objective. <laughs> That's something that a lot of people complain about, is that snipers don't go for the objective enough. But, I, I, I really do think this game has started... Has, it's beginning to decline a little bit. Enough a little bit, I mean a lot. And it's not the game's fault, though. It's, it's It was a good game back in the day, but... Right now, it's 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 starting to you know lose its, uh, a bit of luster. I I do appreciate it for everything it has done for us and like everything. It, this game really like changed how um, like modern games are now. It was the first game to introduce perk the perk system and the first in, um, it had a lot of like for its time it had a lot of custom uh, custom ability. I was about to like mess up that word so badly. I don't know why. I I do appreciate everything that um, Call of Duty Four did give us. But I do think, I think it's time this game is, sometimes you just need to put the nail in the coffin, honestly. I don't want them to save COD 4 um, prior, to, uh, not prior, contrary to popular you know, belief. A lot of people say, you know, save COD 4, and they're making like a bunch of like Twitter posts and everything that people want this game patched. No patch can fix this game. It's not the game that's broken, it's the people who play it. And that's not something Infinity Ward or Treyarch or any, any company in general can play. Oh, these people are... If I would have gone for that guy on the left instead of the guy on the right, I that those people would have gotten outplayed. Wow, good spawn, thank you. <laughs> this game also a lot of people really overlook some of the spawn systems. This game does not have that good of a spawn system, actually. I mean, yeah, you don't see you don't really see people spawn in front of you that often. I don't recall. Wow, four shots. Yeah, that's a that's not a problem. <laughs> Anyways, tangent. Um. <laughs> I, I don't want people, I don't want to save COD 4. I, I, if anything, I would want a remake of it. And it's not like a remake as in like Halo CE remake where um, everything's, you know, exactly the same. I want them to remake it as in take out all the things that no one liked. No one has ever said anything good about Last Stand. Let's stop putting it in the game. No one has ever said anything good about Martyrdom. Let's take it out of the game. Doesn't that sound so much better to you guys? I mean, it's like, take out everything. Don't patch. Don't make anything worse. Don't, none of that. Take out all the stuff that no one likes. I know, maybe, like, put in Stalker or something. Like, put in, like, oh, actually, I, 
I, I take that back. Don't put anything new in. If you put new things in, new problems will arise. So take out Last Stand, take out Martyrdom, take out Noob Tubes. Bam. Remake COD 4. Better graphics. Everyone will be happy. Believe me. So that's my wish list for, uh, you know, that's, that's my hope for Infinity Ward. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. This was really long for me and cut into four sections because I'm terrible at commentating. So thank you guys for listening. Check out my channel. See ya.